Megalodon's caught on camera and spotted in real life. It has a million views and is by 100M. So a million different people have seen this. I am very ready. The sea monster is huge and has jaws that could decimate a ship. The Meg, as it is often called, is the stuff that makes it <laughs> The Meg, as it is often called. No one calls it the Meg, except literally the people who make these videos. As it is often called. Stories <laughs> of a wild, large whale that roamed the open waters were told by sailors to young ones. We now know that this creature of the myths was probably the Meg. Thankfully, the Meg is extinct today. Well, that's what we think at least. Recent sightings tell us that this may not be true. Today, we'll be going through 10 sightings of the Meg that may prove that it's still very much alive. He always does this like title slide thing. This is how you know it's a it's a 100M video. Number 10. That like title slide with the text, it's always good. All right, you guys ready? Evidence of a baby Megalodon. The video okay. shows divers minding their business in a cage, while a huge shark that is over 20 feet long swim around them. Is this huge shark a megalodon? First off, we literally need to know just a great white. Normal sharks rarely grow as huge as this, so this is by no means a regular video. The video was published by Mauricio Hoyas. This is just a great he white. He didn't call the shark a megalodon. He called it the biggest shark he'd ever seen. Now we know that even though this shark is pretty big, it couldn't possibly be an adult megalodon because they generally reach lengths of about 60 feet. What is this logic? It's not big enough to be a megalodon. It's the normal size for an adult great white must be a baby megalodon what how so maybe it's just a baby meg not an adult one what do you think do you think this is a baby meg no what was that what kind of evidence was that I, wh what that's insane that's like seeing an iguana and being like no this isn't a fully grown iguana this is a baby dinosaur like, no, no, it's just an iguana. It's just a, it's just a great white. <laughs> Number nine. This looks like a big shark. That's a mega mouth. A shark so big that it could and be And that is a Greenland shark. The, myths. the video clearly shows a huge animal that may be dead or just resting in the ocean. It's easy to say this video is faked, but extensive tests have not shown fake. that it's actually real. The problem extensive now is tests have shown? What do you mean extensive tests? What extensive tests were shown that led to them deciding this video is real. It is a real video. It's absolutely real, but it's a Greenland shark. It's a Greenland shark with weird perspective. It has nothing to do with the Meg. The Meg on the coast of Brazil. Oh, the now, classic the Coast Guard, Coast Guard, Guard footage. Cameras to their helicopters. This is done for record keeping and training purposes. As they approach the rescue spot, the camera caught something extremely. We disturbing. decided this one was Just edited, near right? Where the swimmer was swimming for help, there appeared to be a huge shadow passing beneath the waves. It was certainly not a white whale, as the shadow was bigger than that, and it couldn't have been an orca either. There's only one explanation. There's only megalodon. one explanation. Look at the video again and tell us what you think. Do you think the shadow beneath the waves was a megalodon or not? I think it's just like a video from another thing that they just superimposed on top, put the opacity really, really low, and then it looks like it's under the water. Like the same way that we made that fake Crabzilla evidence in like three seconds, you could do the same thing with a video. It's just too easy to just lower the opacity on a video and then you're good. Number seven. The Megalodon versus the Kayak. Is this real? This footage was taken by his friend and it shows an impossibly large shape in the middle of the ocean. This was certainly not a normal shark. Impossibly large? large? That doesn't really look impossibly large. Kind of just looks like a normal sized basking shark. I mean, that's just a small kayak. That's just like a normal sized basking shark, right? One. Estimates say that the animal in this video was up to 40 feet long. That's certainly the sort of size you'd expect a megalodon to be. You could also say, well, that could be a shark. And while it's, it's not It's a basking likely, shark. You can see the white in the mouth. It's certainly not impossible. However, the problem with that theory <laughs> is that sharks don't frequent the area that the footage was filmed in. It's basically a no-go zone for sharks. Basking so sharks frequent shark everywhere, around? bro. Could it really be a megalodon? What do you think? Let us know. Also, if no other sharks go there, why would a megalodon go there? The shark who is the most resource intensive of all of the sharks. Even if megalodons did still exist, how is that proof that it would go there? If no other shark can live there, how would the shark that needs the most food out of all of them be able to? Number six. Just a basking The shark. guy with the camera. Okay. This video you're about to see was taken by a guy on a fishing boat who was just minding his business and doing his own thing. 
Sure. The source of the video is unknown, as we don't know where it was taken or who it was taken by. All we know is that it exists. It's just a the normal shark. Off when the guy in the boat saw a fish fin a far away off his boat. The fin looked pretty big, so the guy decided that he'd keep recording. Perhaps it was going to turn out to be an exciting scene. And it was. As the fish moved closer, the camera saw the tail and captured <coughs> the space between it and the fin. It was at that point that he figured this wasn't just some ordinary whale. This was a huge, huge, huge fish. And it was so huge that it could only be one Why thing. Why is it so It could blurry. only be a terrifying megalodon. What do you think? Could this be a meg? Let us know in the comments. I mean, it could be just a normal Number shark. Five. I don't know because there's 10 total pixels. Oh God, not the whale thing. Is this the whale with the propeller, megalodon which is actually whale. from the Megalodon mockumentary? If you assume that Megs are still alive in the deep recesses of the ocean, uh. it's only rational to imagine that they would clash with whales. But as this person was capturing the whales, he saw something a new entirely one. different leaping out of the ocean as well. It was something that resembled a Megalodon leaping out of the ocean with the whales. What are the physics on that? To make things even more shocking, the Meg creature managed to take a massive bite out of Okay, the physics on that make zero sense, but that's crazy that we've never seen this video before. How many Megalodon videos have I watched and never seen that before? The whale. Number four. It popped out way too quick and went back down in way too quick. That's not how breaches look, even if you have a full whale on top of you. Out of the ocean as well. It was something that resembled a Megalodon leaping out of the ocean with the whales. To make things even How did it pop out so quick? No animal could just fucking lift an entire whale like that by jumping. Yeah, that was like shitty 1980s CGI. Number four. It does look like a Discord The game. Legend of the Meg. The Legend of the Meg. The video you're about to see is from Friday, April 5th, 2013. The video is another new one. friends having fun on a boat and fishing. The atmosphere is calm at first and everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. Sure. Well, that was until they actually started fishing. They threw the fishing rod into the sea and caught on something. They tried pulling it up, but it wouldn't pull. And by the time night fell, they were still in the same situation. All of a sudden, the pulling became intense and the boat started to wobble. The group of friends on the boat got really scared, but they couldn't do anything. They were under attack. They could After a short let struggle, the fishing rod the boat was go. Overturned and it sank. The next morning, divers were sent to check what happened to the boat, and they found what shocked them. Apparently, the ship had been wrecked by a huge shark that was likely to be the megalodon. What? So, is this video real? Even though the documentary claims that the video is real, it's not really. So, it was actually acted. And Then why are you putting it in the video? Alongside things that you're claiming are actual proof. And now he's just like, yeah, no, this was actually recorded for a documentary. Sadly, this is not a real video of the Megalodon. Number okay, three. then why was it number four? How was that your fourth best reason? The scientist scared of the Meg. This okay. video is of an underground diver who was investigating the wreckage of a ship. Right at the edge of his camera is something that resembles a fin. The scientist in this video was pretty scared by what he saw, so scared that he didn't investigate further. But could this be true? Was this really a Megalodon Potters. spin? Our answer Where did you see a fin? What? Resembles a fin. The scientist in this video was pretty scared by what I he saw. I saw nothing. So scared that he Top left? This? That's not a fin, that's like light refraction on the sur- right? Light refraction on the surface. Resembles a fin. The scientist in this video was pretty scared by what he saw. So scared that he didn't investigate further. But could this be true? Was this really a Megalodon's fin? Our answer, sadly, is no. This could have been anything. In fact, it could have been our eyes playing tricks on us. Another reason why this is probably false is because this footage was taken by a false documentary called The Legend of the Megalodon. <laughs> so all of this was probably staged. However, what do you think? Now why are all of his top reasons things that he's already disproved? What is the point in the video? I like take a side. He started the video off with such like confidence in his sightings and like these shitty things. And then all of a sudden he's just talking about disproved things. It's like he's taking both sides so that he never loses. It's time for today's best pick. This picture was sent to us by a <laughs> subscriber. If you ever come across a picture on the internet and you'd love to know more about it, send it to us. Wow. That is bad. That is a bad photo. That's just poorly created. Unidentified sea creature. This footage was taken 5,000 feet underwater near the Gulf of Mexico. 
Many scientists have looked at this footage and they've not been able to tell what this thing is. All we know is that it's massive and it's the size of a Megalodon. Look at the footage and tell us what you think. Why have I never seen is this, this before? Really a meg or is it massive? Just pushing things too far. Before we move on, I've never seen that before. No, is that it? No, it doesn't look like a basking shark. Massive. Get this footage, and they've not been able to tell what this near the Gulf of Mexico sea creature. This footage was looks more like a mega mouth than anything. Water near the Gulf of Mexico. But yeah, Many it also looks have... small. Are yeah, there six gills? I was counting the gills. Footage, I only see, and they've not been able to tell what this. I only see four gills. Is. I was counting the gills. All we know is that it's massive, and it's the size of a megalodon. Yeah, Look it's not a six kill. Or a seven. Oh wait, maybe it is. It is a six kill. Oh, okay. Well, it has six kills. Is this really That's easy enough. There's only a few sharks that have six kills or seven kills. Pretty unique numbers. Meg, are, are we just pushing things too far? You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And hit leave a like on this video and smash the subscribe button. We'll get 25 Last time I told people to subscribe, I got like five times as many subs on that video as I normally did on any other video. I averaged like gaining 1,000 subs a day. That one video where I talked about subs, I gained like 5,000 in a single day. So the moral of the story is, check if the sub button is pressed. Number one, Meg descendants. There are many animals who look like Meg and may have been descended from them. Okay. One of those animals is a whale shark. What? How? How? How do you think that that worked? How do you think that the Megalodon evolved into a whale shark? This is literally the fucking, the whale shark's a vegan now, all over again. While out on a dive, this whale shark decided to attack this diver. The diver was very scared, and he said that the teeth of the whale shark were certainly bigger than normal. The teeth? Bro, they're filter feeders. What do you mean the teeth of the whale shark were bigger than normal? They're fucking filter. The shark was extremely aggressive and it tried to bite the. It wasn't extremely aggressive, it was curious because it's intelligent. The diver several times. Thankfully, the diver was able to get away. What made this whale shark so aggressive? Was it. It was curious, it wasn't aggressive. It literally is incapable of eating a person. It could not bite you, it could not swallow you. you I, there is nothing that that thing can do. Megalodon genes, or was it something else? We know megalodon that genes. <laughs> That's your evidence of why it's evolved from the megalodon. <laughs> sharks aren't usually so aggressive, so it definitely must have been something. Something that we don't know. However, research... <laughs> yeah, like a particularly curious young whale shark. Maybe. Whoa.